Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my uh, thoughts with a, with a simple uh, a phrase, doors or no doors. Now, I'm still fixated with the resurrection story and the resurrection story holds very powerful principles for me. And I like the different versions, but I also like the John version you know, uh, especially the John 20 uh, version, you know. Now the Bible said, you know, Jesus is risen from the dead. And now Jesus is risen from the dead. Now Peter had gone to to uh, see the empty tomb. He had seen the, the grave clothes that, that had been folded. He had seen all those things. And, uh, and uh, Mary had been there. They've had an angelic visitation. I mean, and Peter had had a first hand uh, information. I mean, all the evidence were there. But then the Bible says, now the disciples gathered in fear. And when they gathered in fear, you know, they, 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 they locked the room. They shut the doors. And after they had shut the doors, they were right there in the, in, the, in the room. And then the Bible says something that made me laugh. The Bible says, now Jesus came and stood in the midst. So here's the point. Jesus didn't open the door. Jesus didn't knock on the door. He just walked through the door. The door was shut, but he just walked through. And the Bible says he just didn't walk through. He went and stood in, the, in their midst, in their middle. He walked through and stood in their midst. I like that. You know one thing? Those men were carrying in fear. Those men were afraid. And so they had built, and I mean, they had built buttons of, uh, of, of fear and, and surrounded themselves with fear, locked themselves up in fear, shut the door. I mean, barricades and barriers and uh, uh, blocks of, 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 of fear. And the Bible said, God said, hey, listen, there's something I want to do with these people. He walked right through. He just walked right through and then stood in the midst of them. You know, one of the things that I'm excited about Sometimes our, our fear will never prevent God from making his visit. Sometimes our faithlessness never prevents God's move of God. Yes, it is true. He needs our faith. But sometimes, don't think that it is your faith that is going to bring this thing. Sometimes he moves in spite of your faithlessness. He moves in spite of your fear. And here's the point. He walked right through their barricades. He walked right through the opposition. He walked right through the door they had shut and locked. He walked right through it. And the Bible said he came and stood in the middle of them. You know what it is? This? God said, listen, I will be the centerpiece. No fear is going to occupy the center stage. No, 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 no issue is going to enter, is going to occupy the center stage. I want to be the center stage. So he walks in in the midst of their trouble. He walks into the midst of their fear. He walks in the midst of their uncertainty. He walks right in the middle of it and stands in the middle and says, I'm in charge. I like that. And it's exciting for me. You can lock all your doors of fear. When God says, I want to visit, he's going to come anyway. With or without the doors. Doors or no doors. When God wants to do something, he's going to do it. Your doors will not prevent him. Your locked doors will not be a barricade for what God wants to do. And when he wants to do it, he will do it. If he can walk right through the doors of the, of the doubts and all those other things and stand right in the middle, I can tell you, the God we serve can also walk through your doors of fear and your doors of despondency and uncertainty. I'm excited. See.